Hello, welcome to Geraldine's super secret author vlog. A funny thing happened with me last August in 2021. It's funny how manifesting works sometimes. I had gone to the Renaissance Festival for fun like I do every year. It was like, I think it was the first or second weekend in August, but that weekend I had a good time with my friend Sam and while I was there, I was wondering what it would be like to actually work at the Renaissance Festival, to be a cast member, to do this all the time. And then that very week, I came across a casting call for guest roaming character, like guest cast members for their Time Travelers weekend. And I thought, I'd always thought it'd be kind of fun to play Professor Trelawney at the Ren Fair because I love doing Professor Trelawney any chance I get. And I ended up getting invited. And so then the very next weekend, my manifestation came true. And I was a guest cast member at the Renaissance Festival for a full weekend. And it was a volunteer thing. And I was really glad to get to try it out. And it was just an amazing experience. You'll see in the video, of course, when I'm out in the Ren Fair, I'm performing. So I could only film when I was off duty backstage. You know, you'll see kind of behind the scenes. But as a volunteer cast member, we're basically allowed to take breaks whenever we wanted. But of course, you know, we want to be out there as much as we can. So most of the time I was roaming and walking around playing my character. Everybody loved it, especially the kids. Um, and then whenever I needed to, I would, you know, slip through the little, they had little doorways to the back ground area behind all the shops and the stores and the things like that. And so the footage you'll see is back behind everything and backstage and like waiting for it to start and also waiting, uh, gathering together for the parade. You know, the fun thing about it is I've been to the Ren Fair for many years. I go every year and I never even knew that they had a parade every day at one o'clock until I was actually in it. And there was also a costume contest every day at like 11 a.m. I never knew that they did that. <laughs> and so... That was really cool to find out those things and to be involved in this way. It was a fun experience. It was exhausting <laughs> being on your feet all day performing. Plus, I, have, I had played Trelawney before for short periods of time, like a couple hours. But for the first time, I was playing for, for like eight hours a day, two days in a row. And those glasses I have to wear for her make pretty much blind me. I can't see anything so it may have been more enjoyable to be a cast member if I could actually see but because I was pretty much blind everything was blurry it wasn't that fun for me to you know and also it was not good for my eyes so I definitely will not play Professor Trelawney for those long lengths of time anymore and I did realize from the experience that while it was fun doing it for one weekend I prefer to go as a guest to the Ren Fair and do whatever I want all day and not have to work basically and uh, you know usually just go for one day instead of two in a row and all that sort of thing so but it was such a great experience trying this out um, so anyway enjoy the footage <laughs> So a volunteer roaming actor for the Ren Faire, Colorado Ren Fair for two days during Time Traveler's Weekend. This is exciting to kind of get behind the scenes look and to play with kids all day as Professor True on me.
As a guest cast at the Ren Fair and uh, tired. I don't know how they do this every weekend. First day though was extra hard because I'm not used to being on my feet, but today was a little easier. I'm still talking in my funny accent because I've done it all day long. So it's been quite interesting and fun opportunity. I was so glad to get to try being a cast member for a weekend. I know I would never want to do it full time, but it was great fun to try it out. <laughs> <laughs> 